Hello and welcome to episode 329 of the Drive the Green podcast. I'm your host, Maddie B, joined in studio by Bronell and Canoop. Harv is uh, away. I think he's at the lake. I don't know. Just didn't want to call in. He said he, was, he texted and he was under the influence, so he's not calling in. No. He couldn't uh, be at the lake then. No. That's no a good point. point. Work function for sure. Um, so just a three-man pod for the open preview. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Bobby Mack winning at, on home soil for the first time, I think, in 25, 27 years, something like that. Uh, in dramatic fashion on the last hole. Harry Hall also uh, nuts up in the uh, five-man <laughs> playoff at the ISCO Championship. Canoop, uh, I don't want to say not nuts up, but yeah, had a, had a rough go at yep. the amateur that we're going to talk about. And uh, lots lots to discuss, but Harv's not here, so news is a little bit shorter than usual. Yeah, I might even skip some of the stuff that I wrote down here, but yeah. we'll see. You probably skipped a ton. Already, stuff that was in there, yeah. yeah. Some yeah. of the stuff you put in there. Sure. <laughs> oh, it's not making well, it. I'm gonna bring some of it up if you yeah. missed it. Okay, so. yeah. So we're gonna we got lots to talk about. Three man pod, no picks at the end. We're gonna do those offline. So stay tuned for the uh, the slide on the Instagram post if you're looking for picks. If you trail our picks, you probably don't, so you don't really care anyway at that point in the podcast. But we still post them to Instagram, so they still will be done. Sure. Um, but. Before we get into all that, we want to thank our sponsors, Player Golf, P L Y R Golf.com. Use the promo code Drive the Green for 20% off your order. Um, we still got a couple pl- more player events. Um, I know that they've uh, saw some recent posts of, on Player. Of I'm starting to get more and more um, into some of the maybe out there 2024 designs. You are, hey? Yeah. So they posted a few more of those. I like them more and more every time I see them. That yeah. one with like the bottles on it, yeah, beer and barley. Oh, I don't the, mind the that yellowish one. one. Yeah, yellow that one's and white. Good. I still want that green and yellow shirt. Yeah, the Aztec one. Or no, no, the one that has the player right that you have. I would trade it to you for some pants, but it's a medium. Yeah, so. I can't take. Medium. Yeah, I can't take medium outfit. Um, so use the promo code uh, for twenty percent off your order. We're also members of Team Callaway. Uh, great news! Duff's playing in the Royal Regina member guest. I'm going to talk about my qualifier coming up, but he's bringing me a mini driver. And I'm hoping it fixes all of my ails. Your driver's not that bad, no. man. It's not that bad, but I'm still hitting the three wood very similar in distance, which can't mean I'm hitting the driver all that well. So I'm hoping that if I can get the swing and the distance out of the mini driver, but with the extra couple of degrees of, or less degrees of loft, yeah, maybe it'll be, maybe I'll be on to something. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm just trying to figure out which club I'm going to take out of the bag. I mean, it's obvious it's the driver, but yeah, it has to be. But it'd be kind of fun to just have a driver, mini driver, three wood and hybrid in there. It would be. Yeah. There was a guy this week on Corn Ferry Tour. Uh, or actually, maybe it was PGA Tour Americas. Uh, he has two drivers in his bag. One is cut down to 42 inches, so like three and a half, four inches shorter. They'll get me shorter. over fastball. He's like, yeah, it's, this is my 300 driver. My other one's my 330 driver. So yeah. He's like, this is my three wood, but Holy. it's a fucking driver. The funny it's thing insane. is, if you ask me that question, I'll be like, this is my mini driver. It's my <laughs> 290 driver. Yeah. This is my regular driver. It's my 275 <laughs> driver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's embarrassing at times um, <laughs> hitting a three wood further than a, than yeah, a driver. But you it don't works. hit it further. It's that's all. It's all mental with you. Yeah, yeah fair. Uh, but. Excited to get that Is in. Is he the bringing bag any wedges? Because those, I was just gonna those say, Opus yeah. wedges came out. That's not even the biggest Callaway was club news of the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm hoping that that. Well, you know he's gonna have them, so I'm hoping maybe I can sweet talk him on Thursday mm. night to just like you got an extra set in the trunk. <laughs> Probably does. Yeah. So it'd be nice to test out those. But the mini driver, I'm excited. I'm immediate. I'm not even gonna test drive it on the range or anything. It's just like. Thanks for this. Unwrap yeah. it. Put it in the bag. I mean, if you go in the back of his car and he's got one of those minis and you see a tactical driver, triple diamond Oh, in there, those green? That green one? Oh, man. Just sneak that thing out oh, for me. Oh, man. Those are so nice. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that is nice. Like, and the staff get... bag looks good for this week, too. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thanks to Callaway and Duff for always uh, sponsoring us. And I'm having lawnmowers tonight. It is still the middle of summer, and these still taste wonderful. So thanks to Churchill for, for that. And last but not least, we're also members of the Mecklenburg Financial Group family. Uh, I've said it before. I'll say it again. If you're looking for a second look at your investments or just trying to diversify into other things, reach out to Richie and the group at Mecklenburg. Like I say, if you own a small business, you need maybe 
maybe a group plan. I'm a mm-hmm. small business owner. I got some employees. Uh, they have workers comp. That's it. So they don't have, <laughs> they don't get all the other good stuff. If I was looking for, you know, maybe a group plan or maybe some pension to set up for the boys, I'd definitely go to those guys. I'm not, but if I was, <laughs> that's where I would go. <laughs> Richie, Zach, Mark, all the crew at Meckleburg Financial Group. I know, I know we're maybe doing this a little bit pre- premature because we do birthdays later in the week, but I mean, you're talking about happy birthday, Rich. Richie. Yeah, 40 years old. Yeah, good for Rich. Good for that guy. Yeah, that's my partner at Elkridge. He's a uh, he's a great dude. I trust him with all my money. <laughs> yep. So. Uh, Do you still owe him that bit of money from Elkridge? No, I, I sent that to him. Oh, okay, good. The funny thing is, is why is he asking for money? Just take it out of my TFSA. You have yeah. access to it. <laughs> there you go. That's a good point. Just, yeah. He just sends me a message. Hey, uh, I know you didn't sign off on this, but uh, I I I'm, I'm square square. Yeah. Uh, I don't always, trust you, so I just took yeah. it. Which is why if ever he wanted to play for large amounts of money, I'd just be like, yeah, sure. You got access to yeah. it. You have large amounts of money in there? Well, good for you. <laughs> um... <laughs> No, I don't, I guess but he could take whatever he wants. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's get into our weeks. I, I'll go first. Okay. Because Canoop's going to go last. We're going to talk a little bit about Royal Regina. Sure. But uh, first things first, I wanted to talk about... Um, didn't I played one round with uh, Bronell on uh, men's night here in Moose Jaw. I made five birdies, which was very good for me. I thought I was in a very good spot heading into the Royal Regina member guest qualifier yesterday. Uh, zero. I had zero birdies yesterday, but it was still in Sask amateur condition. Yeah. So when you hear Canoop talk about how it was playing very difficult and the rough was very long, basically no second cut, um, uh, anything around the green was tough, like super long rough around the green. Yeah. Well, let's just say they haven't had a chance to cut it down <laughs> a couple times. They've yet. been busy. Yeah. Um, because I I, ha- I struggled a little bit, missed a couple greens, and yeah, the rough is tough. It's hard to uh, advance the ball at times yeah. if you miss the fairway. Yep. So I struggled a bit, didn't make any birdies, had a few looks, but um, the the greens were still playing very, very fast. So just yeah. let's just say I was a little bit off. I didn't make as many putts as I normally would with my uh, Jailbird Mini. So just didn't work out uh, that well for me on the golf front at you know, at the Royal Regina, but did play well earlier in the week and then had a birthday party that I attended. I didn't go to Craven, really wanted to, wanted to go to see Nickelback, uh, but we had a birthday party, Brona and I, to uh, attend, which was fun. Then we went to the casino and I got a couple bones to pick with some people playing at 2 a.m. on a Saturday night. (laughs) Um, This one guy there uh, was the worst high rolling blackjack player i've ever seen so he's playing like 75 bucks a hand yeah well you're there at two in the morning what do you expect two he was playing two hands at times but we did have a full table because it closed the other one so everyone moved over so we had the full plethora of players but he's playing 75 dollar hands and he had like nine nine against a dealer 10 and he'd double like just like yep i'll take one card just double 75 playing at 2 a.m wasted (laughs) probably it was something and then then this wedding sat down. De- well, these people that were attending a wedding sat down. And this guy beside me, this young guy, bless his heart, he he had no idea what was going on. Like, he just looked at the cards in front of him. Did not care what the dealer had. Like, he's hitting on 13 against the dealer 5. He's hitting on 16 against the dealer 4. Like, oh, my God. It was wild to watch. And, like, everyone at the table was like, what the fuck? Is you this might as well just give them your money right up. Oh, yeah, we said many, many times. And he just no, did don't, he, don't. Yeah. yeah, he's like, ah, oh, I'm new to this. I'm oh, the this. dealers usually tell them, too. Yep, they did. Yeah. They did. Which leads me to my last blackjack story, which is a wild thing, which, I mean, everyone on the plans can somewhat agree with. But the guy that I'm playing with, he's on tilt. Like, he had lost, like, seven, eight hands in a row. He gets queen queen against the dealer ten, and he wants to split. <laughs> <laughs> and the dealer's like, "I highly suggest you don't do that." And we're all at the table, we're like, "You you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't." The dealer's like, "That's the second best hand you can have here." And the guy's like, "I want to split." And the dealer's like, "Are you sure?" He's like, "Yes." And then the deal like, the dealer's like, "I don't think you should." Like literally talked him out of it. So he's second last in play. I'm last. I have. A seven. But did talk him out of it. Yeah, talk okay. him out of it. Okay. 
I have a seven. Ace, ace. Next two cards. <laughs> you would have 21, 21. And obviously, that's just a crazy occurrence. Yes. Coincidence? Yeah, yeah. So did you hit on each soft 18? Uh, no, I stood. Yeah. So, and, yeah. So, oh, so you got an ace. You stood on 18, and then the dealer got an ace. No, no. Sorry. Yeah, I had seven and went. Oh, no, it would have been six because I hit on soft 17. I went ace, ace, three and had 20. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is still just a, just you as hit bad. on soft 17? Yeah. Because I was trying to figure out what my cards were. I know the next two are ace, ace, and I know I hit because I got one more, and then the dealer got 17. Hmm. But the guy was like ace, ace, and that dealer was just like he turned white. Because <laughs> he's like, oh, I, yeah. I talked this guy out of it. Rightfully so. Yeah. yeah. It's the Did right he win with 20 at least? Yeah. Yeah, dealer had 17. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it turned out. But yeah, now you got me thinking. I know I got five cards because I went ace, ace, three or something like that. And I won on 17. So whatever that works out to. Crazy. I was a little bit hazy, but I, I definitely remember the ace, ace. But uh, yeah, so I won actually quite a bit. And then we're leaving and walk out to the cabs and <laughs> look over to the right. And it turns out we found the people that got married because three groomsmen had the the bride and the groom in passed out both of them were completely passed out in one of those luggage carts no the bride and the groom were on a luggage cart passed <laughs> out and these three groomsmen the are same one rolling them across same no one no these were just ones? guys that attended the oh, wedding they were okay. playing blackjack this was the groomsmen in a luggage cart pushing them across the street that's a good one that's great I like and it's that. just like there was there was some throw up on the ground too yeah, so yeah. i don't know which one of them threw up but we're just like we're trying to catch a cab. We look over. We're like, is that a, is that the, like someone said? Is that the groom? Because we knew it was the bride. Obviously, it's like is that the groom? We're like, yeah, that's both of them. <laughs> we got to get them that's to awesome. their room. Good for them. Well, they're they're obviously missing out on one of the best parts of getting yeah. married. That's right. Well, yeah. So <laughs> they both you just tuck them both into bed. I guess they'll wake up the next day. Hey, we're married. Yeah. But it was wild. I've never seen anything like that. Where the hmm. bride and the groom are just so that banged up. Usually the bride, like yeah is so Chill. concerned yeah, yeah. with yep. making sure everything's right. But, yeah, so it was wild. Uh, I had 28 drinks this week uh, for 532 on the year. Oh, oh I forgot about my algo. It's uh, f- uh, cutting up big fish. Ooh. Weird. So it's algo. like uh, big slabs of tuna, and they're cutting it up. So it's like su- it's like almost ASMR, where yeah. it's like all it is is there's no talking. It's just slicing, chopping off the head, listening to the neck crack or the Ugh. head crack off, yeah. and then just like, slicing it all like have you ever seen him cut one of those big tuna fish yeah it's, it's a huge yeah. it's a huge it takes a chore. while yeah yeah and then the grossest part at the end is obviously the guy fillets it nicely and then eats it raw it's just like gross mm. it's, it's not fun. gross no but it's it, not plain it needs to be like seasoned. literally right yeah. on the table just cuts it off and yeah. eats it. <laughs> but that's that's it for me okay i'll go next i guess um i guess i'm sitting in harv's seat tonight too so that's yeah, I got to turn feel my head it, that It's way. feeling very weird. Um, yeah. but I'll turn your, your mic back, down. Though, way he... better on my back yeah. than yeah. sitting on that. It, Maybe yeah. Harv goes over that's here. That's the worst spot in the house, easily. Yeah. And yeah. it's my house. Yeah. That's studio. Yeah. Um, Whatever. But also, I'll turn your mic down slightly because Harv usually whispers. You talk a little bit louder, so I just don't well, want to no. hurt anyone. Harv ears. doesn't whisper. He just doesn't talk in his mic. <laughs> good point. Yeah. <laughs> that's really good point. <laughs> He's back here. The mic doesn't reach that far. He's got to lean forward. So, yeah, this, this spot isn't actually that great. He is the shortest guy on the pod. So. Uh, By a mile. I'll keep it pretty short. Kids are away for a few days this week, so they went up to the in-laws and with my sister-in-laws. Um, kind of they do that every year, and we get a bit of a break. Uh, end up playing golf, I guess, probably four times, I think, this week. So Wow. About, about the same as you guys. Four times plus 36 one day. So. Yeah, but 36 is included in the four times. So I just played men's night Friday, and then the course was closed Saturday. I would have played 36 that day, too. But, um, That's all you do is play, hey? That's awesome, though. You're back, so. I'm I'm getting there. I'm not back. Uh, you, I think you are. Driver was much improved on Sunday. So hopefully I can carry it forward. Mm-hmm. But like you'll get there. That back nine on Sunday was like. Mint. You just got to learn to <laughs> learn to be able to hit a shot from the middle of the fairway. Yeah, <laughs> on a par five. <laughs> like, yeah, from two hundred and ten I mean, yards would, out. That would help. 
Uh, yeah. I'm just not used to being there, I guess. So <laughs> I don't have any practice. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, drinks, I guess. More? That's it. Just well, golf. Just I golf. don't know. What else did you do? That's it. Yeah, nothing. All right. I know, on, I know you didn't work, caddy. Worked on the house. Yeah, he bailed on caddy. <sighs> so that you de- might have been the deal what was made him so make a the big, cut. A big liar, essentially. No, the he deal did say was top five. So top five in the am, not in the mid am. No, I never said anything no, about the mid am. I went back and listened. Yeah, this is a problem because, frankly, it was hot. You yeah. were top five, yeah. and you didn't have a very good third round yeah. to I, miss the cut. If you had a caddy there, you definitely don't shoot as poorly. I as got a couple messages saying it's Brunel's fault. I had to go to Fort Capel and yeah. shoot those elevations. You're I know you could have right done that in the it. morning. You drove right by me coming right up. by. He was in the third to last group. You could have been, you've been done yeah. majority of your life so at the funny that thing job, is, you've I been was, done by two. I was going to take a video when I was coming around the ring like this. Before the his bypass. tee? Before his tee off. Yeah, it was like, I don't know, an hour before, <laughs> half an hour before. Yeah, I mean, it is But I didn't have any clothes. your fault. I had work pants I on. I had and extra all that. pants. It was perfect. No, you didn't. I did. No one's wearing pants to caddy. I would so not yeah. have worn pants. But I had extra clothes. I will say this. I guarantee you, if you showed up there and say, I didn't have clothes, either Knup would find you clothes or he would have bought you clothes. It's true. You would Going into Brownies <laughs> golf shop you would there. Have, you would have been five sh- shots worse if I would have showed up because you would have started uh-uh. struggling and I would have been like, You stink, man. <laughs> You should just withdraw. You would use it as Let's motivation. just go. Let's just go drink in the clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> you could have uh, drank. You could have yeah, drank. drank. You could have. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Um, my algorithm this week was uh, rock skipping. So, oh, oh like really good one. I need to get that into that. my algorithm. Like, like some, some good ones. Sick ones. Some good ones. I bet. Like records. We're talking. That'd be great. Like, are they like like 50. long? Like long? Like. Or like the big, like five, six Everything. big ones. All of it. A, yeah. Whole. <laughs> I love the last little ones. That like the. T- yeah. T- yeah. T- yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, and then Churchill boost count. You would you have twenty seven? Twenty eight. Oh yeah. Four less. Twenty four this week for. Uh, four sixty seven. Mm. In yeah, one ninety seven. Uh, that also when you when we said did, 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 that reminded me I've watched I've had a couple in my algorithm of double Dutch. Like those. Those, like, 11, 12-year-old girls that do double Dutch or, yeah, let's say, even up to 17-year-old. I can't believe some of the, like, to watch the girls with the two oh, skipping yeah, yeah. ropes, yeah, just, like, crazy. their arms must be exhausted. Like, yeah. it's one thing to have your feet, like, hot feet there, yeah. foot fire, but it's another to actually, for a minute long, just, like, be hammering your arms up and down as fast as humanly possible. Yeah. It's wild. So, I watched. <laughs> I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole there so. yeah it's no harder than slinging sod yeah that's a good point yep yep <laughs> you would know you would know we got a pile of sod to cut this week <laughs> I, bet. I gotta lay I gotta work I, again I, Sorry. <laughs> yeah i gotta work yeah well if it was after two i know you would have been if it was caddying out. i would maybe consider it but oh yeah. god <laughs> uh all right Knoop, let's get into it Your uh week, my week is the am really just honestly consisted of playing golf which i mean Sounds some like would say is a good thing but when Not it's when you 35, have high expectations. Well, yeah, when it's 35 degrees, like it's just it's too hot. It is way too hot to play golf. It's very hot. Uh, so did you, you only rode the, the line. La- Bronell and I draw the line at 31, right? 33. Did okay. you <laughs> did you uh, ride? So the la- just the last day. So we'll get in. So Monday's practice round ended up walking because they were out of carts. I wanted to cart because I had planned on walking all week. Yep. Uh, out of carts, so had to walk. Which is fine with a push cart. With a push cart, yes. Okay. Um, and whatever Monday was thirty degrees, twenty nine, whatever it was, no wind. Um, I felt like we had a good practice round, had a good idea, and again, like I've, I had made a post today, just disappointed because of how I finished. I've played that place a hundred and fifty times, so I felt like I had a really good. Uh, I should have had a really good week coming in, right? So play Monday. Everything's great. I have good feels around that place. Um, it's obviously playing way different than when I've played it every other time. Greens are fast. There's way more rough, especially around the greens. Um, I enjoy playing fast greens, so that's not a huge issue. But mm-hmm. um, They are better. Yeah, yeah certainly better. I agree. Yeah. Once you get used to them. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. 
Uh, so Monday, everything's good. I feel good. Tuesday, come out, um, get to the range. Couldn't find my driver swing, which, I mean, it is what it is. Um, sometimes it's the way golf goes. I couldn't get off the tee all of uh, all of Tuesday. I ended up kind of scraping it around. Uh, get in with 75, which all in all isn't wasn't too bad the way I hit it off the tee that day. Um, just dead tired. I felt like Bronell feels, I think, every single round. I was so grumpy after that round. Really? Because I ended up walking, and I was just dead tired, right? It was 32 degrees that day. There was no wind. I was like, what the hell are we doing? Like, I just, I was awful. I felt shitty. Um, wake up the next day. I was like, if I don't cart, like, <laughs> if there's no carts left, I'm going to be very upset. So um, how does how does it work for carts? I didn't know you were allowed to take a cart. Yeah, so they changed it a couple of years ago because I think the attendance was pretty poor, right? Because a lot of people don't walk, right? Mm-hmm. They yeah. want to take a cart to be able to play in this kind of stuff because that's what they do at home, right? Yeah. So they changed it a couple of years ago, and I think it is a smart move. They want to get more people involved in it. There's 106, 130 golfers, 160 golfers this week, um, and I mean, most of them don't walk when they're at home, so they just yeah. want a cart. Yeah. So I get it. Um, I ended up getting, uh, paired up with a guy from Saskatoon. So same group Tuesday, Thursday, uh, me and this other guy ended up walking and then we carted together on Wednesday. Um, played way better off the tee. was okay, but ended up making some putts. Didn't make many mistakes, hit a bunch of greens, really kind of just boring golf. Yeah. Right. Your golf. Yeah. Um, shot 70. It could have been a little one or two shots better, but again, that's every round you could say that. Yep. Um, so I was happy with how it was because after day one, I think I was like 52nd. Um, after day two, I think I was 16th in the M portion, and then I think fourth or fifth T4, in T5, the mid. Yeah. I think, um, well, it was inside top five because that's why Bruno was a liar. Yeah, so found my, <laughs> found my swing off the tee. So my expectations ended up coming up a little more again, obviously, for Thursday. Excited to ride again. Yeah, exactly. Get out there, get a new group, right? Meet a couple new people. I actually played with uh, another Moose Javian, yep. uh, Trevor Benson. Uh, know him a little bit, and then one of his buddies that he plays with out at the Royal as well. So it was a comfortable group, hitting the ball really well off the tee. Forgot how to hit an iron. We just couldn't do it. Um, and then I kind of think I got to hole seven, was three over. Get to hole eight, uh, hit a ball off the tee, pretty much put it on the fringe, end up deciding to putt because I kind of have the yips at this point, end up three putting it from just off the green, and that's just kind of how the day went. Just not mm. not very good. Um, so like everybody else that's listening, you just can't get all facets of your game going at once. And correct. That's the same as everybody in the world. Yep. The bit that my best putting days this year are when I'm scraping as to shoot 80. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I would have yeah. shot 85 if I didn't make a bunch of putts. Yes. Yep. Well, this right? is exactly yep. what happened to me yesterday in Royal Qualifying. Yep. I actually played onto the green, one of the best rounds I've played all year. I just could not putt. Yeah. And then on men's night, I <laughs> made I, everything. I made everything. Yeah. I had five birds. But you had a f- couple doubles because you were errant off the tee. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. It's just, you yeah. can't put it all together at once. Yeah. So you're, you're um, human. It was, I, I mean, it was a great tournament. Um, I think finished T28 is what it was. Yeah. I think a 10th or 11th in the mid, something like that. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of it for a little while. Why? I think. So why are they only taking 20 <clears throat> guys? I don't the, know. I don't the know cut. the answer to that. Actually, I'm not sure. Because frankly, that's. I think they want to save some money for the last day, right? You're already getting three rounds. I think they want to save some cash to not have to pay the course. Yeah. Um, Is it some about being a certain amount back from the leader? I, I don't know, because they're taking so they have quota spots every year for, I guess the national championship. Um, I believe what I had heard this year was ten spots were allocated for Saskatchewan for for Saskatoon. Yeah. Um, so I mean, they took 20, is that too little? I mean, for us, our games fluctuate so much. Yeah. Right. Need so to have some wiggle. Yeah. Room, you yeah. also like, I would like to see 30 or 40, right? We've got, we had a hundred and I think it was 130 golfers. If you took 40 of them, 
right? Like yeah, that's well, somebody's a good got representation. Then somebody's got a chance to shoot sixty-seven on yeah. Well, you moved on up. Thursday yeah. or Friday. I mean, yeah, I and shot one under yeah. par and, and I moved, moved up, up thirty-eight yeah. spots or yeah. something. Yeah. So, I mean, you have one yeah. good day and it just shoots you up the ladder. And yeah. I felt like nobody was playing unbelievable outside those top five, six guys. Yeah. Where you know what? I could have showed up. That Friday Anybody and, in and the top in. forty is yes. capable of shooting that's two right. or three under yep. in, in a day, and right? that's going to move yeah. you up a ton yeah. on a place like that, right? Yeah. So, I do agree. But all in all, a good week. Like I'm okay with it. Um, and you get another chance to qualify. Yeah. Are you playing Manitoba? Well, no, I'm going to try to qualify oh, you're for gonna Canadians. Go. Okay, yeah. I had come home and tried to pull out. I wasn't able to because everything's shut down. So I guess I'm in. So I'm going to go and play. That's the uh, Riverside one? Yeah. I think it's on the third, the Friday. Um, so we'll see what happens. Nice. I need to get practicing and figure some shit out. But And then to add salt in your wound, you came back and played with me on Sunday and lost to me. <laughs> You had that X on 11. You had that X on 11. <laughs> sure. The game yeah. is in shambles. Sure. Ended up winning money, so I was happy You did that. win five bucks off. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you hey, made a big, you made a big, big putt on 17. It was a 35 buck, well, $70 hole because my kid's not paying that. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I had a horrible lip out on that hole. Wow. Um, it's a shame. I mean, it would have gone off the green. 15 if it didn't. feet by <laughs> if you didn't hit the hole. So. But like. Yeah. You you d- technically won the match, but yeah, you never finished eleven. So, yep. uh, I did beat him. Yeah, I shot seventy four. And what did I shoot? If you sh- if you take double, you would have shot seventy three. But okay, perfect. You, so who knows? according you to my hand, according to my again. handicap, I put double in. So when I put it into the cap, well, that doesn't it's that, 73. The handicap doesn't mean anything for the versus <laughs> score. Does, right? It always does. No, not the head head to head score it has nothing to do with taking doubles. <laughs> okay. That's correct. I'll agree with you there. Yeah. Um, his score was better. So though. last thing, little algo, and I, I think I told Brunel about this yesterday. For some weird ass reason, I got onto horse dressage. So there's the really yes. So this guy, this lady, I mean, that's is better than what dance yeah, happened. You've, you've <laughs> I'm glad. I'm not. I am glad I've got to this point. But um, this horse is dancing to like rap music. It is insane. Like I, I trained to do so that. It, Yes. I think I know why it's in your algorithm because you saw that one. It's probably four minutes long and you watched the whole thing. I watched four the entire minutes. thing. I was like, this thing's <laughs> dancing to the beat. Like, this is so cool. So we'll see how long that stays in there. Yeah. But uh, 12 drinks this week. So 497 on the year. All right. Oh, wow. Still 30, wow. 30 clear of me there. Nice. I love yeah. it. So All right. Let's get to. Let's get to Bobby Mac Genesis because obviously went out Saturday. Wake up just in time. It was a little bit of a sleep in, let's say. Wow. I was in my first first of two uh, 18s <laughs> yeah. when you were waking no, up. Uh, yeah, I woke up to watch the final kind of five, six holes, and it was good. Like, good watching. Yeah, so, well, we'll start off by saying, like, what a dream come true, obviously. Yeah. Is. I mean, yeah. Nick Taylor at the Canadian Open vibes, right? Yeah. Well, and then crazy that you say that because he also won the Canadian Open. Yes, he did. But to uh, finish second last year and then come back and end up winning it is yeah it's from a, insane. S- yeah. What, what you could call a very sad moment last yeah. year. Yeah. To winning it on the 18th hole with a putt, yeah. just like he's he's my number one favorite golfer in the world right now. He's certainly and got it's not, that. Really? I don't think it's close. He's got that likability factor for sure. Yeah, I mean, like, accents just help. Well, he's, he yeah. came from, he didn't come from a rich background, right? So that makes him likable because mm-hmm. he's not, you know, he wasn't given all the breaks that some of these guys were given, sure. right? He kind of had to earn his, his way and uh, yeah, he's just a, a, a guy's guy. Like, he, they, they had to postpone his press conference on Wednesday because he's clearly going to be drinking for days. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy cuz when he You're won the to be Canadian today, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when he won the Canadian Open, it's like, yeah, we're going to go back. I'm taking a couple weeks off to go home and spend time with the family and the boys. Yeah. yeah. And We're then now going. he wins his National Open right before the Open. It's yeah. like he, he, there's no way he's the type of guy that's like, "You know what? I'm not going out to party because I got the Open next week." Yeah. Just like yeah. I'm going to stop on Monday instead of <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. 2 weeks from now. <laughs> yeah. Cuz I mean, yeah. He could really <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'd be He obviously wants to win this event too. I think so. he'd be better off being one, his best friend this year. Yeah. Or like dad. in his in his friend's group or his dad. 
Yeah, yeah. just being yeah. in his close circle yeah. to get to celebrate the Canadian Open and now this, the national championship, and then just take that right into the Open. Yeah. Like, it's... We talk about, having a dream we talk about these guys winning their own country's tournament. We never talk about an American winning the U.S. Open, though, hey? Just yeah, even, so many of them. It's and, just not yeah. even fair. When yeah, there's just three quarters of the field is American, and their population's so high. And yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think I think to that person, they might like uh, an American winning the U.S. Open. Yeah, but from anyone not that person, yeah. like even I don't even think Americans yes. in American golf fans in general would put as much like, "Wow, that was a good moment." Yeah, to yeah. an American winning as they would to Bobby Mack or Nick Taylor win their National Open. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so funny story about the putt. It's obviously heard around the world there. Me and uh, playing partner there, Kempi, on on Sunday. Yeah. We went into the clubhouse to get some drinks and we're watching it. And he hits it, hits his approach. And we're like, oh, fuck, it's going to be like 10 minutes here, <laughs> five, 10 minutes. And we got to go hit on 10. Yeah, and we're so you went and hit and came back. No, no. I said he's not gonna make it. Let's and go. we're like, eh, <laughs> oh, I don't. and I said I said the same thing. I'm like, oh, I don't think he's gonna make that anyway. So and the lights out, right? Whole yeah. ten, the lights out. So oh, we gotta go. There's a group behind us. And then like two holes later, he, Eric's like, he made that, he made that putt, <laughs> eh? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it was good. I find, I find myself sticking around to watch those like. I normally will watch the end of a tournament, be like, yep, okay, they won, and switch it immediately. Go do whatever I need to do. Mm. But when he made that putt, because it was him in National Open or just those, like, feel-good stories, yeah. I'll stick around and watch the celebration. Yep. I'll wait for the interview. Yep. Like, just give him that extra 30 minutes of viewership. For sure, yeah. Yep. And it's just, yeah, just and then as a golf fan, it makes you feel Obviously, good. the biggest, I guess, not the biggest story, but – a huge story from Sunday was that drop he got on 16. Hits yeah. it into the long fescue. Yes. Kind of figuring out a shot. Did you see it, Canoop? I know, but I've heard about it. Yep. Yeah, so <clears throat> lines up to hit a shot. It's kind of it's a terrible lie, obviously. Mm -hmm. His right foot's on this sprinkler. Yeah. And he said because he has metal spikes on his front That's how foot, he heard it. Yeah. That's, that's how he heard it. Otherwise, yeah. if he had plastic, he wouldn't have heard wouldn't it. Have known. Yeah. Yeah, well, and it was even crazy so, afterwards. He said he was just getting ready to try to figure out that shot. And then it's like, oh, I think I can get a drop out of this. And how much better was the lie after? Quite a significant. Bit, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, enough to make a significant difference in what he was going to do. Yeah, because he was just going to try to advance it like yes. 100 yards, yeah. I think, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was a big turning point in, in the tournament, I would say. There's Remember? been a couple of those this year, like big turning points with drops. Because Xander had one at oh yeah, right. Where the hell was that? Just the was that at the PG or might have been the week before when he well, was in a bush and got a got oh yeah drop out of it right. I can't remember where that was, but yeah, it was right on yeah yeah. I remember that. That's like remember when you were trying to give me shit for taking that drop on nine <laughs> when I was like right up against the building. Yeah. You that's out of bounds. No, you don't not. get a it's not you don't get a drop. The best is uh, at the Hillcrest on 14, where you hit it way left. Yeah, and the then he takes there. a drop there. He, he drops it in the fairway there. <laughs> no, I don't. Remember your drop on 15 too? You actually dropped it like you right. Like he he, he fucking he took thing? the knee thing, and I'm like, yeah. man, we're just playing for well, five bucks. Because I know here. what you're gonna say. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking just put it where he wanted to, bro. Yeah, I know you well enough. <laughs> That's my favorite part of both. I'll make it official no, and you I can't just, say shit. Like he had a, a gopher hole or that sprinkler box or whatever. Yeah. What, so I was, yeah. um, like, just move it over a bit, man. Well, I hate I <laughs> hate those club. rules. I hate those rules <laughs> so much. It's like you hit it behind a building. You should have to punch it out, except for when I do it on 14. I'm like, I mean, I'm a... I'm just going to say I'm aiming at that building, even though oh, I'm yeah. clearly just a little... I could probably get around it, but yep. I'm aiming but right But there's over trees it. around there, too. <laughs> yeah, That's I know. the thing, yes. right? So, yeah, so uh, especially if I want to move that thing a little bit to the right, well, now a tree's in my way, so i got to go even further right. That yeah. tree was planted by a human. It's man-made. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have put it there. What else you got? Uh, That's probably good enough. I, mean, I think we probably checked all the boxes. It, it was a win-win for the fans because either they were getting a Scott win or a Scott win, right? Oh, mm -hmm. I like we did nice. there. Good so, one. Nothing uh, about Rory, though. Good, good showing for Adam Scott this week. Oh, yeah. Very good. Big time. And 
I mean, another guy that's pretty likable. I'm going to yeah. mention Rory's backdoor top five. Yeah, um, nonstop. Not and his good. comments about How wanting backdoor? to enjoy himself more on the golf course now that he's kind of... I think, do you think those comments came from him, from his little... Little pouting family thing? Tantrum? No. Oh. From his oh. leaving the U.S. Open. Yeah. And Maybe. I, I hope so. He's kind of self-reflecting yeah. and saying... Yeah, maybe I. You know, up. I'm, I'm. I've had a pretty good career. Maybe I should just enjoy myself a little what bit. What are more. his odds this week? Because I have a good feeling about him. Do you? He's second. Yeah. I don't know. Second. Is. Yeah. Uh, the guy with probably that should have the number one odds, but doesn't. Ludwig. Lud- Ludwig Aberg. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, this guy is just up there Sniffing all the around. time. He has third best odds. Aberg. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I could S- bet him. Scotty, Rory, Ludwig. Why? Because he shot three over on Sunday. Yeah. Just because of that. Uh, well, he hasn't yeah. won a big one yet. Yeah. So. T4. But how about his ball landing directly on that other guy's ball? I've never seen that before. Flying on the air. Like, I've seen it bounce and hit a ball. Yeah. Lots, b- obviously. Bounce and hit a ball and go in. Go in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But, but never in the air. And you're just SOL too, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But Morikawa's like, got to Yeah, the other guy's back. not. Yeah. Yeah. When, they, when they do that, how do they know where it was? They just take a guess? I think because the players are way back on the fairway. Yeah, how, do I they, don't know. how can they see? That's a good question. I don't know. Yeah, I think I was like three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to look for the oh, no, blemish on the green. Closer. They're trying to look for the blemish on the green, maybe. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> but but uh Yeah, that's probably good enough for this for the yeah, Scottish. Let's move on. Yeah, or, yeah. Uh we'll do Canadians for the Scottish there. Yeah. Connors with a good finish, T ten, Hadwin T thirty four. Matt Hughes probably could have been better than his T46. He got a two-stroke penalty for being late for his tee time. Yeah, did we find out what the deal was there? No. no. Just being like Classic alarm clock scenario or, or hitting too many happened shots? Happened to me last week. <laughs> hitting too I, many shots on the range? Yeah. I made the, the classic example of the you, one morning. I have the same alarm every day of the week. Oh, I thought you, you, you were going to say that you were late for men's night because you were. No. <laughs> You can't even say that. What time did I show up? <laughs> four, exactly. Four on the nose. <laughs> he drove so up to the tee right so at four. Yeah. And I wasn't first. I wasn't first. So if I, I was fourth one to hit, and I was on time for my tee <laughs> time. Um, but, uh, yeah, the classic, I have the same alarm every time, but instead of hitting snooze or stop, I locked my phone, then I opened it and tur- hit the green button to turn it off. And then the next day, I forgot to turn that night. I forgot to turn back on. Mm. So I, s- we we're supposed to start at seven o'clock. I woke up at seven twenty. So I was just like in the nothing gets you more up than missing your alarm. Yeah, like instantly up out the door. Forgot breakfast. Didn't eat till three that day. But fun fact: I reset my alarm every night before bed for the next day. Like I'll, I have to remember to do it. Why? So you turn it off every morning. I turn it off. Yeah. No, I. So if you hit the what? if you hit the side yeah. button, it goes back into snooze. But uh, normally, well, I'm, a, I'm a two or three snooze guy. For yeah, sure. so that first third of one, all, that and th- then I turn it off. Yeah, you open it and turn it off so it doesn't go into snooze again. You could instead of just like huh. opening your phone and just hitting the stop button. But I'm a big volume guy too, like snooze volume. Like you just hit the side button and it goes into snooze. Mm. But that's what I did, and I didn't want it to go off again while I was getting changed because then wake up my wife. Right. So I was just like, okay, I'll just turn it off. I forgot to turn it back on. Too considerate. Yep. I guess. Too right? nice. Yep. He's just too but nice. Yeah, you and Vic Hovland. <laughs> Giving everyone his well, J- Lindenberg stuff. He played that <laughs> round with the kids in the rain this week. Oh, I didn't Wind see that. Wind and the rain. Yeah. Good for him. They, they played an 11-man scramble against them. <laughs> <laughs> Did they get waxed? I don't know. I didn't see the results. but <laughs> 11-man <laughs> scramble? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Take forever. Yeah. What was it, three holes? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so we'll go on to the ISCO, I guess, a new event yeah, this week. Harry Hall. Harry Hall, Callaway guy. Callaway f- hat guy. If you can pull that hat off, like you think you can pull the visor off, but if you could pull that off, that's I all can't. time. All I time. Think, I know. I, I think you could. I think Harv might be Harv the guy. Harv could definitely pull, it off. pull that off. Right, you got to get Harv yeah. in that hat. <laughs> Yeah. Arf might be able to. I think he he's got the look, look. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 he certainly has the look, and we're not going to say what that look is. But <laughs> small mouth, beady know. eyes. <laughs> is that Bar- the look? Barrel. <laughs> yep. Checks yeah, the exactly boxes. Yeah, he checks yeah. all the boxes. Bit of a wider head. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, for Harv. But yeah, I mean, I think it's something about not being an American. Like I think <laughs> Bryson couldn't do it. Yeah. Again. Yeah. I thought Bryson but, pulled it off. But Harry Hall, fine. I mean, what a way, what a way to end that tournament. That one I saw live when I yeah. got home because I was a later finish. I think the what a way to win. Chips not only the in. way, not only the chip in, but the five man playoff. Yeah. yeah. The only problem is, I think people were probably when the ratings cut out. I don't know what they'll be, but oh, everyone be was bad. a little hung hung over, so to speak, from the Genesis that they're just like, oh, I'm done watching golf for the day. Mm-hmm. And then flip to find out that there was a five-way playoff. <laughs> yeah, I was also amazed by how f- short he carried that onto the green. Like that yeah. was a chip in, but he only oh, chipped it, it like four feet forever. The perfect yeah. roll in, yeah. just <laughs> just trickled in. Yeah. yeah, and then the other two had chances to tie with a chip in, but yeah, didn't even sniff. Bit it. of a uh, uh, creative editing on that. Like it wasn't a chip in to win. The other guys were inside and had chances to tie. Yeah, yeah. But, but you only see you the celebrated chip. it like yeah yeah like did, yeah. I got this thing like Cootie chipped right after and didn't even come close yeah no Cootie was in the playoff and his brother was I think dead last like, yeah really second last yeah yeah uh, that's some, we're not talking about this tournament anymore <laughs> Silver, News. Silverman oh other than Silverman was T thirty one and Sloan was yet again jinxed by Canoop and what also Matty B T fifty three man he had a rough weekend it's you know why though. I didn't say anything Friday, or sorry, Saturday or Sunday. Okay, from now on, every time he every makes, day, no, every time week, he makes a birdie, no, no listen, I want you to post week? to some sort of gif, okay, saying like, okay, what it do, deal. maybe or whatever. <laughs> okay, deal. Oh, you every birdie. posted that gif? Yes. Oh, I thought that was you or Harv that posted. No. That. I didn't realize it was Canoe. What do you mean no. you didn't realize it? I didn't look at the little icon of who posted in the group. Who's? Okay. I didn't look at the profile picture. Holy. Yeah, I thought it was Harv. Oh, yeah, that's way worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> way worse. Way worse. Uh, Ace's birthday shots of the week, I guess. Yeah, sure. Uh, Tim Crawford, Timmy Crawford, he Monday queued for the Corn Ferry, and then he made an ace on a par four. So oh, that's nice. Kind of a fun one. You got Danny Klugart times two on uh, That was my next one, yeah. Two aces at uh, the Yam. That's nuts. On 14 and... No, 16. 16, 16, 16 in the practice round? 13, yeah. Practice round, yeah. 13 is the par 3? Or that, 14, sorry. Yeah, 14. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Dunk, I, I think dunk ace is what I heard. On 14? Oh, 14, yeah. Hmm. So That's I that th- short little one over the little... Yeah. Is yeah, it water? Bunker. No, it's a bunker. Over There's bunker. water back right. There's a little <laughs> creek there. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Which is kind of weird that there's water because where does that creek even go? Doesn't it just stop there? Go anywhere. That's like home for it? turtles. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. How long was that whole plan? Uh, one fifty. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was like a lob wedge. No, no it's one fifty yesterday. From the front tee box, it is. Oh. It would be for you. Uh, yeah, it was one forty two playing one fifty yeah. yesterday. Yeah. We're from Blacks. So. Oh, okay. Uh, and then can you posted some kid made two aces in the same round. So I mean, it was obviously. <laughs> and then he fake. got. And then he got another one this week. Yeah. Yeah. Some guy was obviously Cal- fake too. Yeah. This guy from Calgary. It's from Calgary. I think I. Mm-hmm. I think we know what happened. He saw how much action he got on the two. He's like, what happens if this story gets crazier? <laughs> yeah. I might get him more clicks. And he did. Yeah. yeah, We're talking about it. Uh, birthdays, uh, I couldn't find any other than friend of the pod, Rich, me, and that uh, Volky guy that Canute posted today Bob for Volke. some reason. Yeah. Canadian Bob icon. Say, Come on. Fuck Titleist. Yeah. He's um, a Canadian <laughs> icon. He's in the Hall of Fame. for. Yeah. I will well. say <laughs> happy birthday to Bronel, though. Yeah. That was good. It was nice of you to have that birthday the day after pod. I wish it would have been the day of the pod. You probably wouldn't have showed up. Yeah. At least you guys didn't forget it like last year. <laughs> yeah. We well, played Lloyd and... Just, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it your birthday today? Yeah. <laughs> it's like on 17. Or... <laughs> I would uh, like to get so home for my birthday. I would like to get home for my birthday supper. Oh, it's your birthday today? <laughs> uh, shots the week. Yeah, I got Anaban Lahiri missing a one and That's a half shot. <laughs> oh, so your boy could win it? Yeah. I see you flip the picture around. That's a one-week thing, by the way. That's only one staying like that. Okay, are you going to do a rundown of Liv no. and Lucia this week? Yeah, and we're not in news yet. Oh, okay, perfect. Well, we're doing a rundown of the tournament, so. Do it right now. You'd go. Uh, no, well, I got shots the week. Do you have one? No, never do. I mean, it's obviously not the one on Trump. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> I was wondering where I was trying to think of spots to 
<laughs> spots to do that, but I just I, I forgot all about it though, uh, right now. I think I might have nailed it. I think you I was, did. I yeah. think I'm I'm turning into Harv here, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if he if he does Sitting happen to spot. listen to this, he's gonna one hundred percent text with how, how have hard to be he left uh, this week. That might yeah. have to be the clip this week. So the Hall and Bob Mack ones are, to win were obviously too obvious. So I'm going with Adam Scott's driver off the yeah, deck. Beauty. High draw. Who hits a high draw? Oh, I did see that. Driver that off the nice. deck. Yeah, that was it's very insane. nice. Uh, so they put up that plaque for Rory last year. They've already got one up for Bobby Mack this year. But as they Allegedly. Should. Yeah. Really? As they yeah. should. All right, let's get into news. And then I guess pick recap, and then that'll be it. Uh, let's start with Ryder Cup again. Apparently, Keegan Bradley had zero conversations prior to being named captain. It was just, hey, you're it? And Zach Johnson's the one that told him. Really? So, you didn't see that? No. Oh, you were all practicing up for the am. I did see that he, Jordan Spieth, JT, and uh, ZJ were all on the, I guess, the decision, the deciding committee to figure out who was getting the um So they just felt so bad. Captain's evening. The they felt so sorry, bad yeah. that they had to give him the captaincy? I guess. I don't know. I mean, yeah. if anything, the Netflix full swing yeah. helped him get cap. But he's still, like, if Harv was here, you'd say, just like last week, he's got to call himself a player. No, he's he already he, he already came out and said he, he wants to play, but he said he's only going to play if he earns it. He's not yeah. going to pick himself as yeah. a Which is fair. Pick. But good... at the same time, if he yeah. plays well, then it's easy for him to pick himself. Doesn't have to worry he about. Said it he anymore. wasn't going to though. Oh, you're saying he's saying he's only if he's a top like if eight he's or seven, top six. If, yeah, if he's seven, six. he's not picking himself. Oh, yeah. he's picking himself. If he's top I think 12. he should. Yeah, if absolutely. He's seven. Why would you not? If he's top ten, I would say uh, you probably should. Because you're not. No one's shitting on I you. Mean, if you're top I mean, I'm, I'm going to say he should anyways. No matter where he is, he just say fuck you guys. I'm I'm going off. But yeah. For them doing them dirty last time. Best. <laughs> the best case scenario would be. JT being like thirteen or twelve, and he being thirteen, and him picking himself. Oh yeah, JT. Yeah. That would that would be. Awesome. Well, JT came out the gates hot this week too. Like, I think he almost tied the course records on the first day there, he did, and then yep. he just went downhill. Yep. All yep. those tweets coming out saying, "Oh, Keegan's captain now. JT needs to play." <laughs> yeah, uh, but he was endorsed by JT and Rick and Phil. Actually, came out and said that that was a good pick. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of Ryder Cup related. Colin Montgomery came out and said, I don't know why people are interviewing him, but came out and said that Tiger should retire. Mm. I uh, I mean, we've talked about it on here. Why did He's basically like, retired already. He's, it's no different than when Jack think, and Arnie were only just playing the majors, but right? But I think at this point you're sullying your reputation a little That's bit, what right? That's he's like, saying. I mean... People, I can kind of, I can kind of get behind it because he, he is. It's not selling the reputation. It's the fact that by him playing, everyone expects him to be Tiger Woods. Fair, and he's not Tiger Woods. All he's doing is withdrawing, right? We, I don't, can't remember what it was in the last ten tournaments he's played. He's WDing five times, right? Like, yeah. Is that the legacy you want to go out on? Mm-hmm. All the tweets are out today already. Him hitting a stinger on and his rusty pra- wedges. Pra- pra- practice oh, yeah. round. Tweet of his rusty it's wedges. one good stinger, and then all of a sudden he's going <laughs> to win the open. I saw it. Like, he, <laughs> he hit it to four feet on a par four. Going to win the open. Look out. <laughs> Does he know that Scotty, Ludwig, Rory, and Bryson are playing this time? <laughs> exactly. Bryson's winning. That'd be so good. For our pool, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, it's going to be a ton of picks, but yeah. Uh, the fall schedule came out. Canoop, did you want to touch on this? Eight events. Uh, there's a new Black Desert Championship. And Instead there's no the sponsor Fortnite. for this Napa event. So I don't know what's going on there. But. Yeah. yeah, Black just Desert's that, the Fortnite now, right? Yes. Yeah. So just that new event. I didn't read any anything into it about who's getting into those tournaments. Like if it's more glorified Corn Fairy Tour or what it ends up being. Yeah. But, the fringe um, guys. Yeah. Okay. Next. That's Next. it. That's it. Uh, and then Riviera is going to be hosting the 2028 Olympic golf. At the I, Ol- I thought that was old news. Oh. But. Who posted not. it? Who posted it? Brock did. Oh, wow. Bronel. <laughs> Bronze. Sure. Whatever. You can't You can't <laughs> correct him with uh, your pod name. 
And I, then I, I, I was gonna say it sounds very weird. If, he, if okay. you say Brock, I have to say Bruno. Yeah. <laughs> and then back to Trump. He was actually call me by my real name. Yeah. <laughs> back to Trump. He was actually golfing yesterday, the day after getting shot. So that, golf, golf is life. That's why I post. I post that in pod topic. Pod topics because that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I still, life flashed before his eyes. All he wants to do is play golf. All he so. wants to do is play golf. Yeah. If anything, it should be a, a classic case of, you know what? Maybe um, this is probably enough for me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, he probably had that tea time booked before he yeah. knew about the inside job anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, and then lastly, um, back to Callaway here. You guys see that guy on the plane that took a piss yes and they had yeah. to land the plane he's wearing a r- big old red callaway hat <laughs> can't miss it cannot miss it <laughs> i mean maybe he's just used used to pissing on the golf course wherever he wants and, i guess that's yeah. a good yeah do you yeah. have bare feet too or no <laughs> shoes off in the plane no but yeah that's something so i think the, the deal was that he he wanted to go to the bathroom when the seatbelt belt was on and they yes. said no, so he just stood up and pissed. Oh, that was it? <laughs> yeah, he just stood up and took a piss. <laughs> I love that. I don't I get love, it. I really do. I really have to piss. Sorry, sir, you can't. I I don't think you're understanding the words that I'm saying. I yeah. got to piss. Well, I'm going to piss here. you think you could have found, like, a coffee cup or something. Like, that would be still funny, but I'd like to know less what, ridiculous. I'd like to know what the percent chance of crashing the plane would be if he got up. And, and walk to the to bathroom. bathroom. Well, zero. Do you think it's, it's a control thing? Do you think it's zero point zero zero zero, or is it zero point zero 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 one? If he got up it to go one? pee, <laughs> I don't it's, know. It's well, why his, is it? Why it's is for his own safety. Is why that seatbelt sign is still on, right? Yeah. Because of so turbulence or whatever. Changes, right? he's walking. Yeah. Yes. It's not for the safety of the plane. Yeah. Just like Wi-Fi. Yes. I find it hilarious that for years you couldn't be on, like, you have to put your plane or phone in airplane mode, but you could also just buy Wi Fi and be on your phone all the time. The last flight I was on, the guy didn't turn it on airplane mode. He just fucking cruised. Yeah, cellular. Because yeah. there are times where you can be on cellular for a while. Yeah, yeah, but how are you getting it from up there? I don't You're know. You're not getting. No, but you can get it on the ascent for quite a bit until it loses its signal. Oh, yeah. But you don't yeah. have to turn on airplane mode yeah. until it, it, you physically lose the signal. Yeah, uh, I mean, I do it. <laughs> I'm, that doesn't surprise me I one go, bit. I go on my phone literally until it stops working, and yeah. then I put it in airplane mode yeah. to save battery. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. But it's way harder on the way down. Like if we're when yeah. it says we are now, like you know, they do their last little thing. Whether here's this, this, I'll I'll take my phone off airplane mode right when he says that, hoping that it'll pick up the signal on the way down. Rarely does it though. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, man. What? But also, what is going to happen? Yeah. Like, what is, yeah, it is it jamming the yeah, signal? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's a good question. Uh, I, I, actually, think, I, I actually didn't see... I actually didn't even yet, see anyway. if there was any other tournaments this week other than the live, so... I hope there wasn't an LPGA well, event. There was an LPGA major, I believe. No way. Yeah, the Evian Championship was this week. No way. Yes. The, the girl that won is like four feet tall. She's the shortest person on the LPG tour. She eagled the 18th hole. Okay, so perfect. 70 you just did the hole. recap. Yeah. Shortest. Was, she, yeah. Uh, uh, a, a Yaka Furu. Holy yeah. cow, she's short. Yeah. Like M short? M I. <laughs> like like canoe, some other like canoe, people would say. No. Well go short. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's pretty short, but yeah, the Evian Championship. Harv was gonna have a field day with you leaving that out. Yeah, well, hope the trophy wasn't too cool. Uh, <laughs> it was oh, we didn't leave it out. We just talked empty about water it. bottle oh. or something. Uh, Patty Ta- Tavantanikit was was uh, third. Oh, cool. And then another shorty went in uh, on the lift this week. Sergio Garcia. Yeah, first time they've had a. Uh, individual playoff and a team playoff at the same. So how do they work the team time? playoff? So the team playoff goes. So what happens? Pick one week, guy, right? Um, since Sergio was captain, he was playing. So they went out first, and then the team playoff went out behind them. And I guess uh, they ended up going to. A s- Actually, I don't know if they went to a second one, 
But if they'd ended up going to a second hole for the team playoff, he could have subbed himself in after because he didn't get to play. So how many guys played play. in the team? Two. All. Two. So you just the captain picks. Yeah. Picks which two? two. Guys. Yeah. Huh. So it's kind of neat. And Lahiri obviously missing that awful two footer to send it to a playoff. Yikes. It was mm-hmm. something. <laughs> I turned it off as soon as he hit the green. Wow, well, fuck, he's too putting this. Big fan. Big live guy. Well, it was, Didn't even watch it was 15 yeah, he feet. Was, he had it going and when he showed up to the course. Yeah. It was 15 <laughs> feet, and then I was <laughs> like, oh, fuck, I'm like, you're watching over. Scottish? Nice. <laughs> no. We'll, wa- we'll watch the rest <laughs> of the round there. Live Andalusia. <laughs> yeah, live Andalusia. Uh, are you fuck. gonna bring up the Good fact for that you all Spain won everything? Yeah, yeah. they're trying they're to bring up the fact that Sergio was comparing his win to Alcaraz at Wimbledon and he was Euro. Not. He just said it was soccer. a big day for Spain. Every, they won everything. Yeah, say it, it that no, way. No, no, he was. It is. No, he What's was the right. quote then? He was right. It was a big day for Spain. They yeah. won Euro and Alcaraz won Wimbledon. <laughs> yes. It was a big day for them. <laughs> and they won a home tournament in Spain. If you t- if uh, you went to a Spaniard and said, "How was your Sunday?" Oh, it was I'm a not huge t- day in Spanish sports. I'm They'd be like, "Yeah, we won Euro bigger. and Alcaraz won Wimbledon." I'm not they don't even that. know that Sergio won. Live. Oh, they do. They do. They no, do. they do yes. not. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "I might be wrong, but I think that if the soccer team wins tonight, it could be probably one of the biggest days in the history of Spanish sports." Yeah, there you go. I would say Alcaraz winning, us winning both individually and as as a team, and then the national team winning the Euro Cup. It would be amazing to have all those four things. All those four things. <laughs> so him winning the individual and the team was counted as two two, two, two things. Yeah, it's, it's two different <laughs> things. Come on. You guys should know that. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, uh, man. And then the other thing from uh, Liv. Well, first of all, Yucky came across this stat. Yucky Neiman's been in 19 majors. He's got zero top tens. You might have to adjust your <laughs> power rankings. Power he was, rankings. Wasn't he nine? Seven. Yeah. Was he seven on the In the latest? Five. I in think the maybe. latest? He's pulling it back up. I think yeah. it was five. No, I think it was no, seven. He's seven. He's but, seven. Uh, and then the last one, seven. Alabama's going after the, the four aces logo. Because it's exactly the same. I saw that. It's not exactly the same. And but, there's yeah. lots of A logos, like, kind of similar. So. Atlanta Braves. I actually, you can't, I'm going to side yeah. with the four aces on this one. I'm going to side with anyone. You, your logo is a letter. Yeah. One letter. <laughs> That's a great point. Yeah. yeah. A, a letter. Yeah. You, you're, you are trying to monopolize the letter A in the alphabet. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them for trying to get money from those crooks, but. <laughs> uh, pick recap, I guess. Matty B won the Scottish and Harv won the Isco. So, wow. Two points and one point there. Nobody picked the winners for either. I so really th- thought you had, you had one, if not both. No, I didn't. Never had a big, chance. This in the is ISCO. big for me. Uh, standings are Matty B thirty, Bronell twenty five, Canoop eighteen, Hard fourteen. So, but you if know. you pick the winner this huh. week and win it, that's five point week. Yep, and she's all tied up. Yep. Uh, you had Aaron Rye T four, Dietrich twenty six, and Davis twenty six for that uh, Scotch. And whatever. you gave me Rye. Yeah, so you could take the lead this week. No, there's no two Oh right, the there's Barracuda. Oh yeah, Barracuda, get, that's right. There's potentially Six, seven points. Seven, yeah, with the winners. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Rye really jumped up on Sunday. I think he was seven under. You don't this is the problem though. You I'm a very good non on the pod picker. So this is bad for you. Yeah, I know, because now you're gonna have time to research draft yeah, games and all that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm picking last. Yeah. Great so news. That's fucking rule. <laughs> that's it. Okay, wait, who we did, did it? give away? We gotta end this thing in forty eight seconds Rye, or under an hour. He finished T four. He what, said what was Rory? T four. Oh. 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 <laughs> Just hello. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't yell like that in there. <laughs> yeah, they were tied. It's worth noting. I can't. They were tied, but it goes to the winner. Who finished? Higher? I won the tournament. Or like, does I do it go to who agree. gave out? For the other one. No, it doesn't. It never does. It's who gave the winner. Who gave the highest for the other one between it the two of us. goes to the who won. Who I won We've the never tournament. had it happen before. You how helped do you me know, win. How do you know what it does? You helped me win the tournament. Before. You helped me win the tournament. Therefore, you are last. Okay, there's but we've no never had this happen before. So now all of a sudden, there's a rule already made. And we can go to retrogression. Rye shot 63 on I'm not going to retrogression. We're going to the ISCO, man. <laughs> I don't even know who I gave in the ISCO. 
Let's well, go. Let, well, let's go because I really hope this blows up in your face. And <laughs> I have does, to be the if winner. If it does, it does. It has to be the winner too. Okay. So the giving away were toasty. Did you give me toasty, Miss Cut? Uh, I think I gave out toasty. I'm pretty sure I gave Canute Clanton. Yeah. No, Harv did. Yes. Harv Shipley. Gave, did I, I gave you. Harv I gave Harv Rui gave to Harv. Clinton. I didn't give Shipley out. Yes, you did. You gave him to me. Shipley? I don't think so. I think he did. I don't think, think he so. did. It doesn't matter anyway. Did. It doesn't matter yes, anyway. It does. You helped me win the tournament. Oh. Oh. You helped me win the tournament. I guess we'll go to the picks. That's, that's g- the definition of what we're trying to avoid is you giving a good player to someone. Since to win. we're doing it off air, we'll go to the picks guy, Harv. Oh, Harv. And he I know. can make the decision. Yeah, he I can. Mean, he can. You won the week. Yes. So it doesn't affect you anyway. So I think he just ends up being second. No, but or wait, it does affect. He helped me win the tournament. That's what it should be. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Even if you drop down, you can't. But if he gave me anyone less, there's a chance I didn't win. Yeah. It's it's basically because I think you finished ahead of me anyways, Canoop. So it's basically if I'm picking third or fourth, what mm. it comes down to. Should be fourth, but yeah. I want to pick ahead of Harv. <laughs> yeah. I know you do, because you want Ludwig. But I got news for you. He's going first overall to me. I don't even think Scheffler's getting picked in the first round. No. I, I'm picking Ludwig for sure, first overall. First overall. Yep. That guy is... After you just said Rory's, you got a hunkering on Rory. And I got a hunkering on Bryson, too. You can't pick everybody. <laughs> I got a hunkering on three of the top four in odds. This is, that's like me in group chats saying so-and-so so can win. Isn't it yeah, a a, I like hunkering, but... yeah. It's not hunkering. I know it's, it's not. I got a hankering. It's not, yeah. but that's right. Uh, that took two minutes, an hour over an hour. Which uh, is good. Do you want the, uh, the oh, preview? So a open little championship. preview. Yeah, a little preview. The 152nd Open Championship this week. So we have Royal Troon, uh, par 71, playing 7,385 yards. Uh, this is the 10th Open contest here, and I believe the last one was in 2016. Um, there is the longest par 5 in Open history this week. Uh, 623 yards, uh, and then we also That's have the one. yeah, and then we also have the I, I don't think it's the shortest, but uh, the postage stamp hole, the eighth uh, par three, 99 yards. So kind of quite contrasting between the two. Is the green just fucking it's impossible? Tiny. Yep. Uh, and then we have Brian Hartman, obviously running away with the championship here, not here, but uh, last year at the Open, winning by six shots. Um, to claim his first ever major. That was so bizarre. Was just, <laughs> Very. Where did that come from? Uh, he hits the ball real low, and he talked about it in his press conference today, just about how important it is to be able to kind of flight it low, uh, hit those kind of into the wind shots, whether wherever the wind's coming from. So yeah. um, good for him. Uh, he looks to become the first Open Championship or Open Champion to go back to back since 2008, 2009, when Padraig Harrington did it. Uh, Scheffler obviously returns after an extended break. We have Bob McIntyre coming fresh off his uh, National Open win. Uh, Tiger, uh, this is the first time he's played in all four majors in one year since 2019. Uh, and then Rory off his second place at the U.S. Open. Xander playing in his second major championship since its first major win. Um, and Justin Rose playing in his 21st Open this week. Hmm. That's all I got for you. Yeah, it yeah. should be an interesting week. Uh, what about weather? What's the weather? Uh, it's supposed to be bad. bad. Lots of rain, lots of wind. Yep. Ooh, good for TV. Good Great for TV. TV. Yep. So for I think that's still Ludwig's thing. It's not a bracing week then. Can't be. It could be. Friend of the pod, Adams, there right now. Yes, he's there. He's not going to the tournament. Dana oh. is though. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's so sweet. they're going Thursday. Yeah, because. Uh, Thanks to thanks to Adam for uh, throwing a drive the green towel. Yeah. Labor Day on, classic uh, towel. What the hell is it called? Saku Bridge? What's it? Swoken Bridge. Swoken Bridge. Yeah, yeah. Unreal. Like that's a cool picture. Very cool. We gotta get that blown up and put in the studio. I yeah, think that's a that's a great idea. Actually, yeah. Like very good. Yeah. I yeah, like can that. replace that one up there. No, <laughs> Sergio. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> put it right uh, over that big C back uh, there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the uh, Saturday, Sunday morning. Although my son is uh, 
has a local ball tournament they play at nine and nine o'clock Saturday, eleven o'clock Sunday. So oh, they're one and one both days. So. I think I think that, and it's a qualifying tournament, so there is no final. So eleven to one. One o'clock's right around finishing time, isn't it? I think it'd be later than Might that. Be earlier than that. No. No, so they're usually like or, or nah, it's right around one. Think so? Yeah, but I think yeah. it's mid afternoon. But the good news is it's a qualifying tournament, it's so not I just late watch it in the dugout. Uh. Watch it in the dugout and or jeez, Louise <laughs> Ice Guy. <laughs> I'm I'm out of a drink. I need so people something. don't have to listen to you crunch that here. ice for the next 20 <laughs> minutes like we will. Uh, you guys got anything else? Hey, great pod. We, who needs our really? I mean, I prefer not to do this, but. <laughs> well, but think about it. But what else we say you... this every time. Harv, Harv makes it out to be a big deal. You did that in like 20 minutes right before the show started. And no one even noticed. <laughs> well, we'll see. I missed the heavy end championship. But oh, yeah. That's that. a good point. <laughs> but uh, according to the other two members of this pod tonight, so did we. <laughs> Nobody, it was not, nothing was posted in pod topics about yeah. it. Yeah, there never is. Oh, yeah. Never can be. Yeah, but, okay, but if you guys don't have anything, it's time for us to hit the clubhouse.